What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple Minecraft Barrack Apple and Sapling Farm. This farm works on all platforms of Minecraft Barrack, including phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch, and PC. For this farm, all you'll need is one chest, one hopper, 20 glass blocks, 6 ladders, 2 water buckets, 6 dirt blocks, 6 oak saplings, 1 stack of slabs, you guys can use any type of slab that you want, and finally, about 6.5 stacks of saw blocks, you guys can use any type of saw block that you want. By the way, a couple examples of saw blocks include cobblestone or wood planks. The first step is you place down a chest. After you have placed that chest, come to the back. Then crouch down, place a hopper over here. Make sure that hopper is falling towards the chest. You guys can tell the hopper is falling towards the chest because as you guys can see there, the nozzle should be facing that way. Now place a block over here and 12 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then place a block over here. Now place 14 glass blocks over here. Now place a block at this spot, then place 14 blocks over here. The next step is to place 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now place another 14 glass blocks over here. Now place a block over here and 14 blocks over here. Then place a block at this spot as well. Now create an infinite water source. To create an infinite water source, come to one side of your farm. Now place 2 blocks over here, 2 over here, 2 over here, and 2 over here. Then place water over here and water this spot. By creating the infinite water source, you will be able to use two buckets to fill in all the water for the entire farm. The next step is to place water at the spot. As you guys can see there, the water should flow over to that hopper. That water will push all the apples and saplings that get pushed over here into that hopper. The next step is to come over to the spot. Now place seven blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now fill the island with solid blocks. After you've done that, your farm should be like that. The next step is you place a block over here and 14 blocks over here. Then place 6 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now fill in the area with solid blocks. The next step is you place a block over here and 3 blocks over here. Now place 13 blocks over here. Now fill in the outline. The next step is to place 14 blocks over here. Now come to the front. Then place 3 blocks over here and 3 blocks over here as well. Now connect these two top sides. Then fill these other blocks in the outline. Once you have done that, come over here. Then connect these two top sides. Now fill these other blocks in that line. The next step is to place 12 blocks over here. Now place 2 blocks over here. Then fill in that outline. Now come over to the back. Then place water at each of these spots. As you guys can see here, the water will flow like that. Now fill in and break your infinite water source. The next step is to place 6 ladders over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those ladders will allow you guys to easy access to the top of the farm. Now place slabs on top of these walls. These slabs will prevent mobs from spawning on these walls. The next step is to come over to this corner. Now count four blocks to the right. One, two, three, four. Then place three blocks over here. One, two, three. Then place a dirt block at this spot. Now break these three blocks. Now place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four. Then place a dirt block at this spot. Now break these four blocks. Then place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four. Now place a dirt block at this spot. Then break these four blocks. The next step is to place 4 blocks over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, now place a dirt block at the spot, then break these 4 blocks. Then place 4 blocks over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, now place a dirt block at the spot, then break these 4 blocks. Now place 4 blocks over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, then place a dirt block at the spot, now break these 4 blocks. Those dirt blocks will be where saplings are planted in this farm. The next step is to come over to one dirt block, now place down 7 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then break these 6 blocks. Now repeat doing that on all other dirt blocks.
After you have completed that step, the farm should look like this. Those blocks will prevent the trees from growing too tall so you'll be able to easily mine down all the logs. The final step is to plant an oak sapling on top of each of these dirt blocks. I am now going to do a quick fire round so that you guys can check and make sure you made this farm correctly. Up there you guys should have those blocks, over there you guys should have those dirt blocks, over there you guys should have this water stream that flows towards this area, down here you guys should have that water stream that flows towards the hopper, over there you guys should have the chest, and finally over here you guys should have this ladder. How's farm works is you guys can either wait for those saplings to grow into trees naturally or you can build meal them to speed up the growth process. After the trees grow you guys can break the logs. Then all you need to do is wait. The leaves will disappear over time. The leaves have a chance to drop apples, saplings, and sticks. All the drops that fall into that water stream will get pushed into that water stream over there. Those drops will then get pushed over into that hopper, and that hopper will funnel those drops into that collection's chest. To use the farm again, all you guys need to do is plant some more saplings. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first either wait for the saplings to grow naturally, or bone meal them to speed up the growth process. After the trees have grown, break down the logs. By the way, it's not necessary for you guys to use an axe to break the logs. If you guys want to collect the logs, you guys can do that. After you've broken all the logs, all you need to do is wait. The leaves will start to disappear. As you guys can see there, whenever a sapling or other item falls into that water, it will get pushed into the collection system. By the way, although some items may drop into a block, the majority of them should drop into the water. Whenever you guys want to collect the loot, all you guys need to do is come down here. It will all be in this chest. As you guys can see here, in this chest there are some logs that I got from mining logs earlier. There are also some saplings and sticks. To use this farm again, you guys can plant some more saplings. As you guys can see here, I've got an apple. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple Minecraft Barrack Apple and Sapling Farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share out more than Minecraft videos. I upload multiple times per week. Thanks for watching!